Hey, what's up YouTubers? My name is Sachin and in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement the SQLite database in any of your Android application. I hope that you guys have some basic overview of what SQLite is. If not, I'll just give you a brief of it. SQLite is a database for an Android device, which is local to an Android device. So over here, you can consider an example of a context application, wherein all the contacts on your mobile are stored in the form of a database. So in this video, I'll be walking you through the entire steps of creating a context application in which we'll perform all the basic operations such as creating the database, after that creating the tables, then insert, update, delete and view all. All these basic operations will be covered in this entire video series. So before starting, I'll just give you an overview of what exactly the output that is the final result will look like. Here is an application which I created for the video demonstration purpose. We are taking an ID which is an auto incremented field. Next is the name and the last one is the number. So I have created an SQLite database in my application wherein I have these three fields over here. When I click on the save button, for example, if I'm entering a name and the number and I'm clicking on the save button, then in background, the details from all this text fields are getting saved to my SQLite database. Suppose that if you want to edit the contact, then you can just select the contact which you want to edit and you can edit the number or the name wherein the ID will act as a primary key. So suppose that I'm editing the number of Sachin, then for this particular ID 5, all the details that is the name and the number will get updated. So as you can see that the changes are reflected immediately and this list view over here. Next is the delete functionality. The delete functionality will basically delete the entire record from the database. For example, if I'm selecting this record number 4, Kai, and I click on the delete button, then the record would get deleted from the database entirely. So this is what we are going to achieve in this entire video series. So the first step is to create a new Android application. So open up your Android Studio and create a new Android application. I have already created it just to save time. So what I exactly I'll be doing is I've created a demo application from where I'll be copy pasting the code into this application over here. Don't worry about the code. The entire project will be put into the description so that you can always download it and use it as per your convention. So I hope you're ready with your Android Studio and your project is created. The next step is to create a database file wherein all the database creation and the table creation will be done. So we need to create a DB handler file over here in this folder. So just right click on it and create a new Java class and name it DB handler and press enter. Now this would create an empty class file. So now we need to extend this class to the SQLite open help helper. So as you can see that you're getting a red underline over here. So what you can do is you can just click on the line and press alt enter and just once again, press enter on this implement methods button and implement these two methods over here. The next thing is to put this code over here, just above your on create method. And the next step is to create a constructor. So I'll just create a constructor over here. So in this constructor, I'll be passing the context. Next, the name, the SQLite database cursor factory and the version. Now, in this onCreate method, we need to create our very first table. So here's the script for the table. This script is similar to that of normal SQL query, which you execute in any of your SQL editor. The next step is to add a single line of code in the onUpdate method over here, wherein whenever our database is updated, our previous database would get dropped. That is what we are signifying over here. So I'll just walk you once again through the entire code. The first thing is the database version. The next thing is the database name. We can keep it as context.db. Next is the table name and the columns of the particular table. And the next thing is the constructor. Next, the onCreate method wherein our queries will be executed all the subsequent queries will be added over here. For example, if you want to create some other table over here, then you can 
just copy this or you can just type your another query just name the query one and execute it once again so that would create another table in the onCreate method but for this demonstration purpose we only require one table the next one is the on upgrade wherein the database would get upgraded that is the table would be dropped whenever our application gets updated so that was it for this video this was just a basic overview of creating the database and the tables for a SQLite database using Android application. In the next video, we'll be looking at saving the records into our very first database. So stay tuned and watch the further videos in this series. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you have any suggestions or any queries, you can always put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to it as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Peace.